Hello Milo, hello Jack, hello everyone else who's watching. Welcome to Storytime with Grandad. Today's book is from the Bob the Builder series and it's Pilchard Steals the Show. Bob and the machines were building a farm for Farmer Pickles Sheep. Can we fix it? Scoop called to everyone. Yes we can, the other machines replied. Rolly made the ground nice and smooth, ready for the barn to stand on. As they were working, Bob heard a whistling sound. The sound came again, and Bob spotted Farmer Pickles on the other side of the hedge. Farmer Pickles was training Scruffy to sit, walk and roll over. That's really good. Well done, you two, called Bob. I have high hopes of Scruffy winning the dog show today, said Farmer Pickles. Hey, Bob, said Scoop, how about entering Pilchard in the show? She's just as smart as Scruffy. I bet she could win. I'm sorry, Scoop, but it's a dog show. No cats allowed, chuckled Farmer Pickles. Oh, well, never mind, Scoop, said Bob. Scoop, however, was determined to enter the show with Pilchard. He went back to the yard to look for her. Pilchard, he called. Pilchard, come! Pilchard came out, wondering what all the fuss was about. There, see, said Scoop. You came when I called you. It is going to be easy peasy to train you. What do you think, Pilchard? Meow, cried P Pilchard. Scoop tried whistling at Pilchard, but the noise only frightened her. But he wasn't giving up on his plan to enter the show. Eventually, he persuaded Pilchard to sit in his scoop and off they went to the dog show. When they got to the enclosure, Pilchard spotted a mouse and shot straight past Scoop after it. Pilchard, come back, cried Scoop. We don't have much time before the show starts. Pilchard turned and walked towards Scoop, leaving the mouse to escape. Good Pilchard, said Scoop. But as he moved forward, he got tangled in the flags around the enclosure. Oh no, squealed Scoop. Help, Pilchard, I'm stuck. Pilchard ran to Farmer Pickle's farm to get some help. Bob and the team were just finishing putting the roof on the new barn. Pilchard tried to get Wendy's attention by rubbing up against her leg. Meow, cried Pilchard loudly and stuck out her paw. Uh, I think she wants us to follow her, said Wendy. Let's go, said Bob, and off they set after Pilchard. Pilchard raced ahead and led them to Scoop. Well done, Pilchard, said Scoop with a big smile on his face. Can we fix it, said Bob. Yes, we can, shouted the others as Lofty pulled the flags off Scoop. Thanks, everyone, said Scoop. And you know something, he said to Pilchard. If they did let cats enter dog shows, you'd be the winner for sure. Bob asked Mrs Percival, who was one of the judges, if it would be all right for a cat to enter a dog show. Hmm, it's a most unusual request, Bob, said Mrs Percival. But it may be possible. I'll see what I can do. A little while later, the show started. Farmer Pickles and Scruffy were the first to take part. Scruffy performed perfectly. After all the dogs had been in the ring, Mrs Percival announced, Scoop and Pilchard, the first ever cat to enter. Thanks, Mrs Percival, whispered Scoop. He gently tipped Pilchard onto the grass and gave her instructions. The judges watched very carefully. Pilchard walked forwards, sat down and even rolled over. And to everyone's amazement, including Scoop's, she finished off with a fancy backflip. The audience clapped and cheered. You have a very talented cat there, Bob, admired Farmer Pickles. And you have a very talented dog too, replied Bob. But Scruffy covered his eyes and whimpered. He knew he didn't have a chance of winning now. While the judges were making their decision, Bob and the team went to congratulate Pilchard and Scoop. That was brilliant, Pilchard, said Scoop. Meow, purred Pilchard. If I hadn't seen it with mine own eyes, 
I would never have believed Pilchard could do all of those tricks, said Bob. Everyone lined up for the prize giving ceremony. There was silence as Mrs Percival carried over a trophy for the winner. I am pleased to announce that the winners of this year's dog show are... Scoop and Pilchard. Well done, said Mrs Percival. Bob, Wendy and the machines all cheered and Scruffy wagged his tail. Scoop felt very proud when Mrs Percival placed a trophy in Pilchard's paws. Meow, cried Pilchard happily. The end. Bye-bye, Mila. Bye-bye, Jack. I'll see you soon. Goodbye, everyone else who's watching. Bye.